What's going on YouTube? This is One Bar here, and today I'll be presenting to you um, the Mono Warfare 3 perk list. Now, this has not been confirmed yet by Infinity Ward or Activision, but the two sources that I have found this on are very reliable sources, and they have been be able to be proven true in the past when it comes to Call of Duty. Um, I found these on Kotaku, which is a gaming website, and in the past, before Call of Duty games have been announced, um, they have had really good information that have been proven true when the game comes out or in release dates. And also, Woody's Gamer Take had a video on this earlier, but it did get taken down by Activision, which means that Activision might have seen this video and saw that he might have had every perk correct, and they didn't want it to be announced yet, so maybe they took it down. I don't know. But I have all these perks, and I'm going to let you know about them, and you can leave what you think about them down in the comment section below. But just like um, since 1 for 2, um, each of these perks has their just their normal perk, and then they have a pro perk, which you get from doing like a couple challenges or one challenge. I don't know how they're going to do it in Mono for 3 yet. But basically, it's when you have a pro perk, it's kind of two perks in one, so you get both benefits. And I'm going to tell you both. Now, some of these perks are brand new. Some of these perks you have seen in other Call of Duties. So yeah, and I'm actually very happy about how they did their perks. Um, there's three slots, just like always. There's five perks in each slot, which is um, normal, kind of what I expected. But yes, yeah, so let's jump into the perks. So in slot one, there is extreme conditioning. Now, this is basically kind of like Marathon in Black Ops, where unpro, not pro, but what you did not run forever. It was just like an extended amount of time. Same as in Modern Warfare 1 or COD 4. It was the same way. But they changed the name back to Extreme Conditioning, which kinds of give you that nostalgic feel of COD 4, which I like. And the pro version of that is that you climb over obstacles faster. Kind of like Marathon Pro did in Modern Warfare 2. But what I noticed about this perk is that you don't run unlimitedly, which you both had the option to do that in Black Ops and Modern Warfare 2. So it's going to be kind of a game changer, because you're not going to be able to get around the map as fast as you want to do. So the next perk in slot 1 is Slide of Hand. Um, the normal version of this perk will let you reload faster. Um, this is a really helpful perk, um, speaking sense. Um, reload times can really determine who wins a fight. Like, if there's two enemies coming at you, you need to kill one, reload, kill the other. Um, so, Light of Hand will really prove um, valuable in killing both enemies. Now, this is what's going to get you. is The pro version of this perk normally lets you aim down the sides faster which means when you pull the L trigger, or I think it's L2 on the PS3, or L1, depending on what you play on, your gun pulls up, and you kind of like you're looking down the sights. What Sleight of Hand Pro used to do is that you'd pull your gun up faster to your face, so you can um, kind of get the kill easier. It lets you aim more accurately, and what Sleight of Hand Pro would do is just bring your gun up faster. But now in Modern Warfare 3, according to this list, what it will do is that you swap your weapons faster. Sort of like what Scout Pro would do in Black Ops. But there is a perk in Tier 2, which I will go over in a little bit. So, Scavenger is also in Slot 1, and that is my fa one of my favorite perks of all time since Mono for 2. And what that does is that it allows you to resupply your ammo and grenades from little blue bags from your enemies when they would die. So if you're using this perk and you kill somebody, a little blue bag would be on top of their body, and you run over it, and like a little vulture icon would appear on your screen. And what that will do, it'll just like replenish your ammo. Now the pro version of this perk, um, you get more ammo from the start. So you, when you start the game, you have a set amount of bullets in your clip, and then how many extra bullets you have to reload into. So like, for instance, you might have 30 bullets a clip, and then you get three more clips, so you have like 90 bullets. Well, with Scavenger Pro, what that will do, it allows you to start the game with more clips or more ammo, and I don't know about this game, but maybe it will have something to do with the grenades. Maybe you'll start off with more grenades, because I know Warlord Pro did them Black Ops. But never know until the game comes out. Now, this is a brand new perk in the game. It's called Blind Eye. Now, what it'll do, it's undetectable by support aircraft. Now, I know you guys might be saying, like, oh, they've had Ghost, they've had um, UAV Jammer, that kind of stuff. But they've kind of split it up into two things. So, in Tier 1, there's Blind Eye. And this is kind of what will defend you from your, um, like, Harrier airstrike, if, like, from Mono Warfare 2, this is defending from like Harrier strikes, attack helicopters, pave lows, that kind of stuff. So, like the support aircraft that actually tries to kill people, this is that will protect you from that. 
Now the pro version of this perk is that your launchers to take down the aircraft will lock on to the aircraft faster and will do extra damage to the aircraft. Which I'm really glad that they made this perk the pro version that it is because they've never really had something that locks on faster. Um, which this will make for a really great AA class. So I'm really happy the way that Infinity Ward is moving into the um, gun on gun gameplay type of way. Because now uh, it seems like aircrafts won't be in the air as long. Which I'm really happy to hear that. So the last perk in slot 1 is called Recon. Now this one I'm r having trouble understanding how this will fit into Call of Duty. Because those of you guys that have played Battlefield. Uh, there's a thing called, I don't know what they'd call it in that game. But what they described in this list is like painting the enemy on the map. So Recon in its normal form it says explosive it says explosive damage paints enemies on the map. Now what this might mean is if you take damage from an enemy from explosives like a grenade or a launcher, maybe on the mini map like their arrow or their dot will stay on the map for a certain amount of time until they die. I don't know, that's what my prediction is. Um maybe what I'm also trying to understand is will it last only for you, for your team? I don't know. And the pro version for this perk is that the bullet damage will paint the enemy on the map as well. Okay, so that's all for Tier 1. Moving into Tier 2, like I said, there's five more perks. So, the first perk in Tier 1 is Hardline. Now, this is the hard, the same old Hardline that's been in there from Modern Warfare 2, except that the pro version's different. So, like always, it's one less kill for your kill streak, but the pro version, this is really interesting, is that um, for every two assists you get, you, it counts as one kill towards your kill streak. Now what this will mean that obviously so if you pump a pu couple bolts into somebody but your teammate actually kills him you'll get you the assist and normally you'll get like two thirds of the points or something but now if you get two of those it will technically count as a kill towards your kill streak. Now someone that plays more um, defensively or kind of like a support role where they run around and try and help out teammates this might will value them more and par particularly if they play the objective and don't really get kills very often this will definitely help you okay so assassin this is kinda like the second part to blind eye that I said in tier one what this does is that it uh, makes you immune to UAVs portable radars thermal and heartbeat sensors now these are kinda the things that people will use to try and find you which is a really good thing to have um, like in search and destroy because you want to be like stealthy you don't want to be able to be found and then the pro version for this is that you'd be immune to counter UAVs and EMPs, which that that pro version of the perk kind of makes that feel like it'd almost be overpowered. Because not only will you not be able to be found, but when someone calls a counter UAV to help them not be found, you still will have the option to be able to find them. If that makes sense, it's kind of worded really weird. But anyway, moving on, overkill. Now this is a perk that we have not seen since World at War. Now I'm kind of worried that they brought this perk back into the game, but before I get into that I'm just going to tell you what it does. Overkill allows you to have two primary weapons. So normally you have like your primary weapon which is like an assault rifle, light machine gun, sniper, all that kind of stuff, and then you have your secondary weapons which are like your pistols, your launchers, Modern Warfare 2 had shotguns, all that kind of stuff. But now in Modern Warfare 3 when using this perk you would have your primary weapon and then you, instead of having like a secondary pistol or a special um, weapon like a ballistic knife or um, oh, what's it called crossbow you'd have two primary weapons now like in games like World at War when they had this perk it wasn't too overpowered only because you'd have to trade it off for stopping power now since stopping power is in Modern Warfare 3 now that you can have two guns that do fairly high damage people could probably go like on a rampage because speaking how Infinity War did their game Modern Warfare 2 there was a lot of guns that outclassed other guns so like what if somebody had like let's say like a TAR-21 which is one of the most powerful assault rifles matched up with like the UMP which was the powerful submachine gun and had both of those could together that would seem like it would almost be unfair to people that aren't using that perk only because they'd be good at close range and far distances okay and so the pro version of overkill um, raises a lot of uh, I don't know like questions to me because it's listed that overkill pro what it does is that allows your secondary primary so the primary that replaces your secondary it allows it to have two attachments on the gun but yet while looking through the perk list there's no perk saying that um, you get two attachments on your normal primary so this raises the question to me um, does your normal primary get two attachments off the bat without a uh, perk 
do you just get to attachment already? So, moving on, I honestly don't know. So, moving on to the next perk. Let's go. There's Quick Draw. Now, like I said in Tier 1, Slide of Hand Pro does not affect your aim down sight. But, what they did is that they made that Pro version of the perk its own perk. Now, Slide of Hand Pro might have been one of the most valuable perks in the game for a long time. I've had troubles trying to determine whether to use Slide of Hand Pro or Scavenger Pro for a long time in Modern Warfare 2 and Black Ops. But Black Ops split those two into two different tiers, so I guess it didn't really matter in that game. But I know in Modern Warfare 2, it was a big decision to use Slide of Hand or um, scavenger only because you had to um they're both really necessary kind of but what I did what they did in this game though is that you can um use scavenger and quick draw together and the only reason why I really used slide of hand was just for that faster ADS this the reloading thing didn't really make a difference to me very much cuz I can just crouch into cover or something so I'm really glad that they did that but what they did not list is whether or not it will work for sniper rifles because the whole faster ADS thing in Black Ops, as most of you guys know, is that it does not work on sniper rifles. And they have been saying how quick scoping is back. So maybe it works, maybe it doesn't. I don't know. Okay, so the pro version of Quick Draw, it allows you that after you throw a grenade or use it a piece of equipment, it allows you to um, aim down your sight faster after using that piece of equipment. So, like, let's say you throw a grenade or you set down like a clamor or something. There's normally delay between the time that you throw it or place it down to the time where you have to pick up your gun. Um, you pull your gun out and put it back up to your face for a name down. Now, using a uh, quick draw pro, it will allow you for that there on um, the delay between throwing the grenade or placing the claymore. It lowers that considerably to the fact where it's almost not there. So, moving on to the next perk. So, going on to Blast Shield. So, Blast Shield is basically Modern Warfare 3's version of Flak Jacket. Um, for those of you that haven't played Black Ops, uh, COD 4, World at War, what Flak Jacket would do is that it basically reduces the amount of damage you take from explosives. Now, Modern Warfare 2, yeah, 2, did not have this perk, or any perk like it. Fla uh, Blast Shield is actually a piece of equipment, and it was kind of a hindrance to use, only because it would take up, like, your mini-map, and it would like reduce your screen size and I mean which is really really stupid only because of how outclassed um, grenade launchers made the game like you can literally sit in the back of like one man army in danger close and just noob tube the shit out of anybody and you really have no defenses against them so now that um, blast shield which is what they're calling it, it's basically flak jacket is in its own perk I'm really glad that they had that okay and then the pro version of that makes you immune to stuns and flashes. Okay, in slot 3, the first perk is Sit Rep. Now, Sit Rep was in um, Modern Warfare 2, and then in Black Ops, they named it Hacker, and I think in Call of Duty 4 and World at War, it's basically Bomb Squad. It's all the same thing. What it does, it allows you to seek out enemy um, equipment, such as Claymores, C4, um, motion sensors, all that kind of stuff which provides really useful in games types like Search and Destroy where people plant a lot of claimers you can kind of go around them. And the pro version of this lets you hear footsteps louder. So let's say if you have a pair of like Turtle Beaches or Astros, on and on and on. The ability to be able to hear footsteps louder basically gives you a more of an advantage of your headset. Now this, I love being able to hear footsteps louder because if someone's creeping up on you from the back, you can literally just turn around and kill them. Um, so being able to hear footsteps louder and be able to like hack, or not hack, but um, see other people's equipment will be a really good search and destroy perk in my opinion. Um, I am saying a lot of stuff about search and destroy only because I play a lot of it and a lot of these, like uh, the perk choice in search and destroy to me really makes a difference. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try and stop saying that, but that is what I've been saying. Okay, so dead silence. This is the ninja of Modern Warfare 3. What Ninja used to do, it let you so your footsteps don't appear as louder or as loud as they normally would. So people, so this is basically the counterpart to Sit Rep. Um, so, or not Sit Rep. Um, yes, yeah, Sit Rep Pro actually. So if you're using Ninja and someone else is wearing a headset, it'd be really, really hard for them to hear you. It doesn't cut your footsteps out um, all the way. 
you literally make the slightest of sounds. So you really have to have a, either really, really loud speakers or a good headset to hear people. So this does provide really useful. And the pro version of this perk is that you take no fall damage, kind of like what Commando Pro did and Lightweight Pro did in Black Ops. Okay, so the next perk in slot 3 is Stalker. Now this is a brand new perk to Mono for 3. Um, it's going to allow you to move faster while you're aimed down sight. Um, the one restriction to aiming down the sights is that when you'd walk, you could not sprint. And you kind of you walk really slow. But with Stalker, what it will allow you to do is that you can move faster while you're in the aim down sight mode, which will help you if you're like a, if you're kind of like camping or playing defensively, and you need to get from uh, like if you need to walk somewhere, you can get there faster, but also have your gun up. So if someone does happen to like walk in front of you, try and shoot at you, your gun's already up, and you can kind of get the bullet off faster. And the pro version of this is that it allows you to delay the claymores. So if let's say you trip the claymore, um, it will kind of give you a little bit of leeway before it blows up, so you can try and get away. And Scrambler Pro did this in for two, and it was very, very helpful, especially in game times like I said, search and destroy where claymores were everywhere. This perk would allow you to get away from them, and you wouldn't die as much from them. So I'm really glad they brought back a delay claymore perk, or yeah, a delay claymore perk, only because Black Ops didn't have one, and I've noticed I've gotten killed a lot by those. Okay, so Marksman, again, is a new perk to the whole Call of Duty series. What it'll do is it'll allow you to ID targets from range. Now, I don't know if this is going to be like Battlefield, when if you see somebody push like the select button or the back button, I, forget, I always get the name of those maxed, mixed up, basically the opposite of the start button. It would kind of put like a triangle above the enemy's head for your whole team to see. Now, I don't know if they will allow you to do that, or if you're like you're far away and you look at somebody, if like their name will pop up above their head. I don't know, but the pro version of that is that it allows you to breathe longer. Like when you're scoping in on your sniper, if you hold the left stick in, you'll hold your breath and there'll be less idle sway. And there's always been a, a hold your breath longer, but there's never been an ID from range. So I'm really interested to see what that will do. Um, longer breath time does help a lot if you're hard scoping when you're sniping. So marksman obviously is going to be a sniper perk. Okay, so the last perk in Monster 3 is obviously going to be steady aim. Um, in every Call of Duty game since COD 4, there has been a steady aim. What that allows you to do is that when you're hip firing, so when you're not in aim down sight, you just have the gun at your hip, the reticules will shrink down a little bit to the fact where the bullets don't spray out as much, so you hit more bullets on target. Now, if you're using guns like submachine guns and like shotguns, those are probably the two most effective weapons to use it on. Um, this perk provides almost a central to use in the fact that you don't want to miss your target or you can get hit markers and you won't do as much damage and they will in turn have basically the opportunity to kill you. So slide it, steady aim obviously was going to be back in the game. Um, so yeah, it is a very helpful perk. And the pro version, um, it lets you to um, aim down sight faster after you get done sprinting. So normally when you sprint and then you push the left trigger after you're done sprinting, your guy will kind of like stop, walk, and then they'll delay between when you pull up your gun. But with Steady Aim Pro, what that will allow you to do is after you're done sprinting, your guy will automatically just pull up his gun as fast. If, if you're using Quick Draw, it'll be really fast. Or if you're using not Quick Draw, it'll just be normal. So, thank you for watching. This is the unconfirmed perk list for Mono Warfare 3. Like I said, but it has been confirmed by two very valuable sources. So it is something to take into mind because this possibly could be the perk list from Offer 3. I'm very happy with all the perks. And yeah, this has been One Bar here with Overpowered Tech. Please remember to comment, rate, and subscribe. And I'm out.